Hi everyone. Welcome you all. Previously we have done some questions. Question number 1 to actually 21 which was multiple choice and one word answer question. And today we are going to discuss our question 22 onwards. So without much delay, let's start our quest. Okay. So the question is Mr. Mana, a database administrator in Global Education and Training Institute has created following table named training for the upcoming training schedule. As a database administrator, Mr. Okay, spelling mistake, Mana has decided that the database name is Global, table name is Training, attributes have these much of data types and this is a sample data. Okay. Now help him in writing SQL query for the following purpose. Hope you do not have any difficulty in doing so because we have done plenty of practice of SQLs in class 11th as well as in class 12th. So I have already devised this chapter. Uh, I feel that you should not have any problem in solving this. But still some people have a little, little problems. Please do take away your copies and analyze what's wrong the inquiry how you can improve your answers and that will do the trick right so question number one is to display all the cities so basically you need to display the cities where cyber security training is scheduled along with its fee so city plus fee you have to specify two columns so if you write if you try to write the answer it will be somewhat like this select city comma fee from training where topic is equals to in single quits uh, cyber security so this will be your answer right hope uh, you have done this correctly i don't feel any problem in this in most of the copies okay now coming to this second to add a column feedback with suitable data type okay now you need to add a column called feedback obviously feedback is of text type and which may extend up more than 255 characters or at least 100 characters so what you can do you can use a alter table command alter table and table name is training add you can specify the feedback column feedback then you need to specify where get you can specify 255 as digital okay wait a minute let me do it so this will be your answer now coming to the c point to count the number of training topic wise right to count the number of training in topic wise for example uh, in cyber security how many training uh, trainees are there you have to specify three cyber security three and ICT in education that's two so you have to do that so how you can do it somewhat like this uh, select uh, you can specify topic comma count asterisk or count topic whatever you need to specify you can do it uh, from table name is training again and group by uh, it's a topic okay so this will be the answer for the C part now coming to the D part list all unique topic from training so the answer to this will be select okay now let me have a bold font so that it is easy to understand oh, wait a minute distinct and that's the topic from training okay that will be fine and finally modify the fee and increase it by 500 for all though all whose fee is less than 15,000 here your 
question setter or question is asking to modify the existing data so the command will be update table name is training set now you need to set the fee is equals to fee plus 500 where uh, fee is less than 15,000 okay so this is the piece of our query which will do now coming to how I how your examiner actually assigns the marks your examiner actually divides your query into two parts before the back class and after the back class so half marks for correctly specifying select and the column name from table name and half for where clause and correctly specifying the condition and similarly here also for specifying alter table training you get a half marks add feedback back at 255 you get another half marks similarly here also from training up to, up to here up till here you get a half half marks in rest of the query you will get a half marks and this goes on and on for each and every answer now let us move to our question number 23 Ranjan Kumar of a class 12 is writing a program to create a CSV file user.csv which will contain username and password for some entries he has written the following code as a programmer help him to successfully execute the given task okay so here uh, it uh, they have imported a CSV file uh, don't worry about these these are just um, typing errors you can say that's CSV only def add CSV file it's a username and a password this is a simple function to accept two parameter username and password and then f is equals to now what uh, what's here so here you should be having a open open user.csv okay. so this blank should contain a open right now new file is equals to csv dot writer f f is the object which is specified here so in some cases or in other examples what you can see you can witness a blank here and you must be writing this statement or filling this statement so carefully go through this csv how to read and write csv file so that in coming pre-board or incoming board examination you are ready to solve such kind of a question right now coming to the next line line number two new file dot writer dot actually it's a right row uh, is the function which will write the row okay and then f dot close this will close the file and here notice uh, when we are opening a file and we are adding a record you should always use a, a mode it should not be r mode or w mode only r plus uh, or w plus mode cannot do uh, you have to specify a mode right now coming to our next uh, blank that is with open user dot csv obviously since we need to specify uh, we are just reading the file so we should be using a r okay r in a single quote if you miss a single quote then obviously i have deducted your half marks now coming to the last point write the output he will obtain while executing line 5 okay now you can clearly see we are have we have executed this piece of our code only one time so arjun is the first record 123 at the rate 5456 is the password similarly mohan is a username and this one is the password username and password read csv will simply read the values and print the rows okay uh, let me see key what is going on i think it should be wait a minute it should be inside like this so that makes a sense and if it here then what will happen uh, it will give you an error and we do not want to uh, encounter any error so it should be somewhat like this so row is what we have got it here and row will completely display as um, these two values in the list form and then followed by a slash and then followed by 
multiple five asterisks okay uh, so there will be a line then mohan this there will be a line of five asterisk and then farida with this okay so every record will contain the list format and then followed by the line of with five characters five asterisks and finally file is closed so this is the simple output of the question hope you understand this right now coming to the b part here now what you need to do you need to simply evaluate this expression and this is straight from class 11th operators precedence uh, precedence according to the precedence you have to identify whose precedence level is higher in this case this will be evaluated first and i must congratulate two persons especially um, uh, yash and siddharth who have correctly solved it till now i have checked some copies uh, amongst them these two people have really done a good job okay so first of all this one this will be means uh, 5 into 5 that is 25 and then according to this you are going to do it here that will be give you 1.25 plus then you should be multiplying this whatever your result is divided by uh, 25 uh, calculate and divide remove all the decimal points and then add to uh, 1.25 so i think its output is 7 point something uh, you can calculate it and do it and here now you can see since uh, this is and or and not so first of all we are going to evaluate now um, the expression so if you see this condition is true then it comes we are going we have to do it like this and 7 is greater than 12 that is false so complete expression will result into false okay and if you check it out if you evaluate this or first of all not this is true to not false false and false is equals to false and false so this will give you a false okay now what is cloud cloud is a collection of services hosted on a web right many people has said internet servers servers hosted in the um, internet are called cloud actually the services hosted or offered to the people over the internet are called cloud services or a cloud how public cloud is different from a private cloud this is obviously very simple answer public cloud is available to okay another spelling mistake i have to correct it okay so public cloud is a cloud which is available for the public like google drive and um, onedrive etc and similarly private drive are not public they are meant for a public or for only a company or organization right now the or part differentiate between client side scripting and server side scripting language give the example of it many of people have written the answer which i haven't thought that clearly indicates they have uh, copied it from somewhere uh, online <laughs> or whatever but if i ask them they will not be able to explain what they have written so i have i have given marks but seriously please uh, do not write anything which i haven't explained to you or you do not know the meaning for example some people have written source code is not seen by the clients and um in client side uh, user can see the client code right what that that, uh, uh, that mean <coughs> That simply means that <coughs> if you try to see view the source code, we should see the script language. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, so uh, this is obviously the correct answer, uh, but many people do not understand why. Actually, server side works in a server uh, in the servers and uh, so they are never fetched to the client so the client cannot see the code written in the server side languages right this is the meaning of the client side uh, means uh, server side scripting language are not available to the client and secondly client side scripting language do not require server interaction 
right they have written it but what does this mean this means that whenever uh, something is done or calculation is performed it is done in the client end only and uh, to process that result your web page should not visit or is not required to visit a server essentially right this is the meaning of uh, <coughs> client side scripting do not have any <coughs> interaction with the server uh, second secondly generally client side scripting are very pretty fast as compared to server side scripting the obvious reason is whenever server side script have to be uh, act, or is in action it has to be it has to interact with the server uh, which consumes time that's why server side is comparatively slower than the client side okay so these are the some of the ex differences and what are the two examples client side scripting html javascript vb script these are the very popular client side scripts server side scripts are asp jsp and uh, python ruby many programming languages are there but these are the uh, very common ones okay explain the following terms that is ftp file transfer protocol wi-fi um, wireless fidelity time division multiple access and simple mail transfer protocol so this is the simple answer of it now coming to the question number 27 what do you understand by local and global scope of variables now it is it doesn't say key local or global variable it says scope of a variable scope that means uh, key um, from where up to what portion of the program can access a certain variable or a function so global scope means uh, when a function or a variable is defined in a global scope it is available throughout the program in all the functions or or in all the parts of the program uh, but in a local scope local scope is that uh, whenever a function or a variable is defined inside the local scope it is accessible within that particular block only uh, this is termed as local and global scope how can you access a global variable inside the function obviously by using a global keyword first declaring that we, we are going to refer uh, for example global a is defined and so a will be always accessed as a global variable not the local variable right uh, now what are different parameters explained with the help of example uh, what are default actually <laughs> default parameters default parameters are the parameter whose values are defined when, a, when we define a function header okay so they have a fixed value uh, when we do not pass a value while function call that default value is used this is called a default parameter and you can have an example i think uh, i have clearly specified example in whenever we were uh discussing default parameters so go ahead and watch that video that will really help you out okay so we are going to discuss this much only today hope you have liked this video and please uh, wholeheartedly complete your all the questions in your notebook so that you can you you, you should be getting a habit of writing right so that's all for today thank you and have a nice day